Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Wake up. This is just another one. Just the Kiai, man. All right. You know, it's the name, channel name. Thank you for coming back. If you're my supporter, new subscriber, please subscribe. This is just another video, guys. I want to show you what I'm about to do. I'm about to do this, light up a fire, and I'll be making some meat today. So, welcome. Today, we're just doing meat, guys. Okay. So, today, we're just doing meat uh it's been a while and welcome to just ek and setting light it up light light the grill up We're gonna be doing some uh grilling today guys uh and what we have in the menu basically what we have in the menu we have uh we have uh, chicken goat marinated and we also have some chicken coming guys and leo tunakula nyama, kachoma, even the eco, even the rien. So, one thing I just wanted to say is this, you know, just because people are out there making money doesn't mean half a day where you gotta take some time off, all right? So, on the weekend, I do my thing, I do my loan, I relax, I chillax, I watch videos, I watch movies, and a day like today, I feel like I want to get some meat. So I'm going to be making myself some meat here. Some goat meat. I normally buy them by a Mexican restaurant down the street market. And they also sell very nice marinated chicken. And that's what we're doing this afternoon. I hope it doesn't rain because it looks like uh, the weather is it's looking a little bit uh, cloudy. As you can see, it looks like it's going to rain. But I hope by that time I'll be done doing this. Alright, guys. I don't eat red meat all the time. I try to minimize taking in a lot of red meat. I throw in like every twice a week. I throw in uh, beef or goat meat. But most of the time I do chicken or fish. And uh, right now... And I preferably like uh, grilled meat. I like to grill my meat. Eh? I like when it's grilled. So I have to clean this grill up here real quick, as you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, buddy. I haven't used it for a while. Since I uh, I put up my studio here, I had to demolish my, uh, my patio, where I used to do. And that's another thing I have to come and start doing one of these days. When it starts to stop raining, I'm going to start and put up a structure. Where I can be doing my meat. Yes, sir. I'm doing it because right now it's not too hot in Texas. Without the patio, I'm still able to do it. So, ooh, and the fire looks good to go, guys. Let me go ahead and get the meat. Let me go ahead and get the meat. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get the meat. And the fire look all set to go, guys. So, already, time to go get the meat. Time to go get the meat. Time to go get the meat, guys. Give me a minute. All right, guys. So first off, we got. I'm gonna show you what I got. I have some uh, marinated chicken. Ooh, I love it. I love the way the Mexican people do it. I have some marinated chicken. Oh my god! So I have these pieces of chicken, as you can see, marinated chicken right here. I'm gonna drop them in the grill. We got another piece right here. Oh my god, this is gonna be good guys. So here's another one. Already. So I know people like chicken uh, chicken breast, but I like uh, people like chicken breast, but I like doing thighs, mapaja. Thighs. Thighs are juicy, thighs are delicious, thighs are smooth. Okay? They are like they have some juice. They are not like uh, when you take chicken breast, chicken breast is too dry. So I always prefer eating some chicken thighs with no bones, marinated. 
drop it on the grill and my grill is looking beautiful right now guys as you can see here it is it's looking beautiful it's looking beautiful right so you gotta get your protein always get your protein right so I get my proteins as you can see I have my protein here it's gonna take me for a week so drop it on the grill yeah buddy yeah and I'm gonna have it in here I'm gonna have my grill and then something else next oh god I think I got the wrong thing I'll be right back hold on to that yeah buddy and here we go I got my uh this is some goat meat you see some goat meat I'm gonna drop it here I'm gonna drop you see those round t-bone it become like a t-bone steak drop them here yeah this goat meat I marinated this myself I put some salt I put some turmeric and I put some barbecue uh, marinade and some extra virgin oil uh, look at that this is gonna be good guys so already here we go this is gonna be delicious oh good on the grill chicken on the grill oh my god I can't wait to eat this it's gonna be nice it's gonna be fantastic yep let me do this real quick before it starts raining and that's what's going on that's the tingo that's the tingo guys this is the tingo my friends I don't do this every time I try to minimize eating too much red meat but it's one of those days you know yeah buddy yeah buddy yeah buddy so that's good mm -hmm. let's do this Uh, let me show you how beautiful the grill look. So here we go guys. Let me know what you think below the comment section And this is how the grill looks like isn't it beautiful? Yeah, look at that So we have our goat meat here We have our chicken there because chicken cooks really fast, right? So we got a chicken here and we got goat meat here going so Woo -wee. And everybody is welcome to try some of this EK, can you smell what EK is cooking? I haven't done this in a long time, y'all. So bless up yourself and thank you for coming. Don't forget, let me know what you think. I'm doing, it's kind of like a cookout, you know? It's kind of like a cookout. So too bad, I still have to do. I you see I removed my patio. I used to grill from there, but now I have to build it there. And I still have some wood here I need to use before they get rusty. Well, not rusty, before they start rotting. So I need to pick up myself and start building. Maybe from next week. So guys, appreciate you all for the support. Thank you for all coming. And let's go, let's do this as we wait for this meat to cook. And we will see you in a bit. Yo, welcome back guys. Oh man, too bad it's starting to rain, man. It's starting to rain and I'm doing my grill and I have my drink. This is not alcohol. This is homemade juice that's good for you if you have diabetes, blood pressure. It's a mix of a lot of cocktail. Cranberry, raspberry, blueberry, cucumber, spinach. It also has some ginger, it has lemon, it has pineapple. It has a lot of things in there. It's a lot of nutrients, vitamins so I normally do a glass of these and even if I'm drinking a little something something I always like to mix it with these natural 
a gradient as we continue cooking and look at this is really good guys good for your skin vitamins and everything you see it's starting to to, uh, to drizzle and here we go guys uh, it's looking good as you all can see the goat meat is looking good all right you gotta flip goat meat I've really missed goat meat you know I've really missed some goat meat Oh my god, this is getting this is getting nasty here. Let me drop this a little bit down. I don't want to overcook it because I still want it to be a little bit juicy, you know. Rare medium rare is what I like. I don't know if it works it. Oh my god, the rain is starting to drop guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh Jesus, the rain is starting to drop. Please rain, rain, go away. Come back another time. So even if it doesn't get ready, I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. I hope by the time it starts raining heavily, till I've cooked a little bit more, you know? So, and that's how it looks, guys. I hope you enjoy. Eat with your eyes as you watch the video. Let me know what you think below the comment section. We're still gonna cook. Come rain, come sunshine. We're still gonna cook. We love our meat, man. We're still gonna cook our meat. Come rain, come sunshine. Oh, please rain. Just leave my, my cooking alone. Yeah, so I'm going to try and cook. Whew. It's raining, guys. It's raining. It's starting to rain. Let's see how it goes, guys. And bless up yourself. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> Oh Lord, my grilling cookout has backfired, guys. My cooking has backfired, man. Look, look at my grill right here. You see, it's outside. It started raining. The rain is coming heavy. You see that? Yeah, my cooking has backfired, you know, literally, guys. So I'm gonna try and cover up my thingy. Jesus Christ! You know what? I'm gonna try and bring it close to the. I can see cook right here. Next to the entrance of the yeah, I think I can still flip it here. But the rain is coming heavy. Oh my god, I didn't look at the weather focus. Grilling gone bad, guys. Grilling gone bad. Oh my god. So, oh my god, I gotta pull it up here. I hope it doesn't fall. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is a smart idea. So I can still flip my meat from the inside. Oh <clears throat> inside the inside the studio please don't fall okay please don't fall let me try to do this and man this storm it looks like it's actually a storm coming i didn't know we're gonna have storm today oh my god here you go i think i can still be able to flip it here from the main entrance yeah i can still be able to cook it from here guys okay so look there's a storm coming and there's no way I'm not gonna stop doing my cooking, man. Yeah. So there it is, guys. So I have to do this while it's raining. Oh, God. Yeah, buddy. But we're almost there, guys. The goat is good. It's only the chicken now left. I'm gonna flip it. One little chicken left to go. I hope it doesn't blow it up, guys. So, I'm gonna do this slow, cook it slow. Yeah, buddy. We still gotta eat. There's a storm coming, guys. All right. That's why I need to give my patio back. I need to get my patio back, yo. I need to do my, 
if you wanna do go funny. Mm. For Ikea. Mm -mm. Yeah. So this is a space that took uh, my cooking place. I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all, guys. Ooh wee I don't regret it at all. So I'm doing my cooking outside. And uh, let me go do my, uh, what we call Ugali in Kenya. All right. Let's cook Ugali. Let's see you there. Let me make some, uh, let me make some, uh, you see the outside? Oh, hold on. I got to, oh, it up. Let's the water start going in. I'm just going to have it open a little, just a little. Because I still need to cook my meat, man. Woo, it smells so good, guys. You have no idea. Woo. Yeah, the storm. <clears throat> the storm, you see the storm coming? Yeah. Well, we gotta eat meat. I hope we don't get a tornado. Look at that. This is Texas, man. Texas bipolar weather. If you ever hear them say Texas bipolar, the weather changes instantly. It's hot and then boom. All right, so now I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna make what you call ugali. Ugali is a staple food in Kenya. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. It's just corn flour. Just corn flour. A little bit salt. Sometimes I put butter. Okay. Sometimes I put butter on it. All right. Sometimes I just put some slack butter and uh, water. That's it. That's it. Simple. Just simple like that. Water, corn flour. In Kenya, we say maize. In Kenya, we say maize. We didn't say corn flour. We say maize in Kenya. So it's going to be very simple. It's always very simple. Corn flour. I try to avoid eating this a lot. <laughs> Mostly here in North America, uh, countries where we don't walk a lot, where we don't burn a lot of calories. Eating ugali every day can be a disaster for diabetes. Okay? Diabetes, because of all that starch, can be really bad for you. You understand? So, I try to stay away from eating too much carbohydrate. If I eat carbohydrate, I minimize what I eat okay so normally how I do my routine for eating four days in a week I eat very low calories I do something we call intermittent fasting okay I eat before going to the gym and uh, I eat after the gym but very minimal protein mostly and vegetables and like a juice I can take that just juice one cup and it's a full meal you understand so i try to be very careful at my age what i eat very careful very careful i know i have one pitfall that i need to watch uh but uh basically you know prevention is cure i see a lot of people but ugali ugali chapati chapati when you get to a certain age those touchy food sugars and all that you need to stay away from those you can get your nutrients from vegetables, raw vegetables, preferably, if you can, you know, it's not, it's up to you. But when you start eating at a certain age, man, it's just, you know, when you eat too much starch, it's just equivalent to somebody who's going to drink too much. Because you're going to get, you know, start getting those uh, diabetes, blood pressure, blah, blah, blah. Minimize salt, minimize sugar, don't eat too much, you know don't eat to fill your stomach eat to replenish your body with nutrients all right so i'm gonna be doing this ugali here all right so let's go guys let me go check my meat outside let me go check my meat 
Oh my God, it's raining cat and dogs, guys. Look, it's raining. Look at my grill, it's all wet. My meat is still cooking, though. Still bringing content for you guys. As it rains, we stay cooking. Mmm, this tastes good. Cooking in the rain. Poof. I'm not scared of water. It's just water. Mmm. Tastes so good, guys. You have no idea. Mmm. Yes. I'm gonna try to avoid eating while I'm cooking. Mm. I definitely need to build my thingy back. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Waiting for the water to boil. Uh, while I'm doing that, the best one has to have that. Means you cook ugali a lot. You see the black spots there? Means you cook ugali. So let me get some corn flour. Oh my god, let's go guys. I see it's raining cats and dogs. But we still gotta do content, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get this food done. We gotta this cook meat. Ooh! Oh my god, you gotta. Mm. It's raining cat and dogs, guys. You gotta bring it down. I gotta drop it way down. Because I can't change it right now because it's too hot. It's too rain. It's, it's raining. Can you hear the rain? Cook up gone bad, guys. Oh, God. I gotta get. Yeah, I have to use this. Let me hang it here. Oh, while well, I go cook ugali. Already. Mm-hmm. Gotta reduce the fire. Oh, this is boiling too much. Oh. Gonna do this, guys. So, give me a minute. And this is how we do it. This is the Kenya most popular meal. All right. I don't eat it a lot. I try to minimize eating this meal. Because as you can see, this corn flour, this is corn flour by the way, this corn flour has been, it's too, like it doesn't have a lot of nutrients because they're taking a lot of fiber out of it to make it all white and you know, most people prefer this, but personally, I prefer the one that's not this purified. Not all things that all these purified white is good for you. I like when it still has this brown skin, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where a lot of fiber is, you know? Just like fruit. When you take out the skin, you take out all the nutrients, all the... That's all I'm saying, guys. So, you see, even in Kenya, people go on strike because they prefer this. They say this is the best. They don't like the one in the village, but the one in the village is really good because it still has on it all the nutrients, all the fiber is good for you. But this one here, this one you just eat to fill your stomach, give you energy, but it doesn't have really a lot of uh, nutrition values. That's all I can say. It doesn't have a lot of nutrition values, so. And it's because I can't find the brown one here in the U.S. So we got to stick with what we got, right? So we stick with what we got. And this is Kenya, or most like, mostly East African national food. A lot of East African, Uganda, they eat Ugali, I think, Tanzania. I also saw Burundi, some part of Burundi. I saw some part of uh, Congo. 
I saw some part of uh, Rwanda. They eat Ugali, but they cook it differently. In Kenya, it's a little bit solid. Um, but this is basically, I can actually say, maybe it's an East African tradition of food. I don't know. You African, East Africans, let me know what you think. But this is how we make it. It's pretty simple. Just water. For me, I put a little butter. I thought, oh my God. I put a little bit butter and some salt. Just a little bit. Because uh, if you don't, it be taste like a tasteless cake. But on the other hand, this is just a side. Like I have goat meat. I have, what do you call it? I have chicken, grilled chicken. I have grilled goat meat. And that's how we eat it. And then we make some like kind of salsa. We call it kachumbari in Kenya. So this is it. That's all you do. It's not that hard to do. You got it. So I'm gonna set it like this and let it cook slowly while I go to flip my meat. Okay. So we make it look like a round cake. And you see what I'm gonna do with it. Right? So here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Here. This is what we call Ugali in Kenya. See? Of course I don't have normally we don't use gas to cook it. It's supposed to be cooked with like charcoal so it can cook very good. So let's go see our meat outside. So as that one is cooking, let's go check on our meat. It's raining bad guys. It's raining as you can see. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh lord, there's lightning. Whew. There's lightning. This is Texas, guys. Welcome to Texas. Oh, Lord of mercy. We gotta do this. Yep. Cooking in the storm, guys. Cooking in the storm. I like making sure my chicken is well done. Mm. Well, I'm making some chicken while it's raining real bad, so... Yeah, buddy. It's raining heavy, guys. Yeah, that's what's up. Doing content. I need to get my patio going, man. Because of all this rain, right? So, we're going to go do Ugali. Continue with Ugali. Let's go. The Gali is coming, as you can see right there. Ugali. So I need to give it one more flip after this. Two, maybe three more flips. So this is how you do it. Flip it like this, put it my hand, and there you go. And then do this so that it can cook the inside. See? All right, and you do it like that. You see? Do it like this. Like this, like this, Boop. and let it cook. That's what you call flipping ugali. So, let's see. There you go. I think this should be the last of this. Right. And it should be fine to go right in front of my house. My studio. Okay. And this should be it. Mm -hmm. This should be it, guys. That should be it. Man, everything gone wrong, guys. I want to show you right now outside. Oh my, we got into the hailstones, you know? We're starting to get hailstones. I can hear on the roof. I 
I know we're not supposed to stay in the window. Can you hear that? This spring we had so much headstones. It's not funny. We had so much headstones. We had so many, like literally back to back hailstones. Can you hear that? Yeah, things really went bad. Grilling. It went really bad. Not what I was expecting. Yes, sir. So we're going to come here. I'm going to sub myself. I need to eat a little something, something. Because I'm hungry. The storm will not mess my thing up, you know. I, gotta I am so hungry, guys. And the storm... I hope this meat is ready because it looked like the stone really messed up my plant. I had to rush up my video. This is going to be a raw and uncut video, guys. So bear with me. And there is my ugali. So you flip it like that, it looks like a cake. This is ready. Okay. I think for today I just want to eat the goat. Oh. I forgot to show you how the meat looks like. Here's the meat. So I have the goat. This is the goat here. This is the goat and this is the chicken. All right. So I'm going to try to do a cocktail of both. So let's go. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Got my meat going. Got tomatoes. Got some onions. Only here's my plate. Got some chicken. Some goat in there. The rain messed up my plant, man. So I'm gonna put it here. I always make it a habit of eating my everything wrong. So, all right. Yo, guys, moment of truth, man. The storm has really messed up my plants. The storm has really messed up my plants. But uh, hey, we got it going. I made my ugali. Ugali is Kenyan staple food here. And we eat by hand, okay? We eat by hand, grab it like that, see? We make like a round ball, like this. Make a hole in the middle here. Get a piece of meat, see, a piece of meat. And then, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hidden music. 
you're highly highly welcome to my house it's full of positivity here it's full of love here so you're welcome you're highly highly welcome so if you are not connected kindly connect okay kindly connect and then on your notification bell that way you stay notified whenever i have a new upload yeah and also i have a new video a new video where i talked about um a challenge a particular um challenge uh, called um um uh, new new syndrome yeah new new syndrome so you can also go to my channel and read up about it i believe you'll get one or two I got so much into my food, I forgot I'm on live. I'm recording. So bless up yourself, guys. I'm gonna call it here. And this is how we <clears throat> this is how we do it. Hmm? See you guys in the next one. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and bless up. Bye bye.